let's have a look at the next question the question says the number of groups of three or more distinct members i repeat the number of groups of three or more distinct members that can be chosen out of one two three four five six seven eight so that the group always includes three and five while seven and eight are never included together so on one side i have one constraint i want three and five to be included and the second side i don't want seven and eight to be a part of it let's go reverse <clears throat> let's find out all those three and more distinct digit numbers which can be chosen out of the series of eight numbers where all the numbers uh, possibly which which we are looking at as three and five will be included let's freeze them first now if three distinct uh, let's say three or more distinct numbers have to be found have to be find out of the given set of eight numbers out of which three and five has been freezed three and five has been freezed down now i'm left with how many numbers i'm left with a series of one two four six seven and eight i'm left with in either of these numbers which i can choose one two four six seven eight there's six numbers which i can choose i can choose at least one or i can go to a maximum of all the six to be chosen together can i choose zero out of it no because we want a minimum set of three three and five have already been chosen out of the remaining numbers six numbers have to choose at least one <clears throat> if you have n num if you have n objects in how many ways can you select one or more i repeat the question is if you have n objects and if you have to select at least one is basically given by 2 raised to n which denotes number of ways of selecting zero or more 2 raised to n is nothing but number of ways in which you can select zero 1 2 3 4 5 6 minus 1 because you do not want that instance where zero has been selected will give you the total number of instances where at least one to a maximum of six can be chosen out of the given number so 2 raised to 6 will basically be 64 but this 64 also comprises of zero selection i do i have to remove that zero selection case so let me remove one so the total number of ways in which you can select three five and at least one of the remaining six numbers would be 63 but there's a catch this will also include all those instances in which you have also taken care of selection of seven and eight together also you don't want seven and eight to be included together now let's remove all those cases out of those 63 i repeat let's remove all those cases out of those 63 which has a combination of 3 5 7 and 8 now if you exclude 3 5 7 8 which has been pre-selected the numbers which are left will be 1 2 4 and 6 basically the leftover number would be 1 2 4 and 6 now from this 1 2 4 6 even if i select 0 that can be an instance because I have already taken care of the prerequisite where three numbers have to be chosen. I have taken four numbers for my case, which is three, five, seven, eight. So from one, two, four, six, you have to select zero or more. From four objects, if you have to select zero and more, the number of ways in which you can select would be as simple as two raised to four. Now two raised to four will basically be sixteen. What is sixteen denoting? Sixteen basically is set of all the numbers in which 3 5 7 and 8 has been taken together has been taken together and what is the question the question is you've got to remove all those instances where 7 and 8 has been taken together also so my remaining value or the leftover value will be the final answer which is 63 minus 16 which should be equal to 47 and hence the answer for this question would be as simple as 47 finally